Welcome everyone to a series I'm calling Collector Chronicles. Uh, I don't think that serious clients and collectors get enough glory for what they do. So this series is meant to give them the time to share their journey. Enjoy. My name is Kevin. I am from Champaign, Illinois. I moved to Las Vegas in 2015. It uh, worked out well because it makes me closer to Phoenix, which is pretty much why this all happened. But basically, I uh, saw Ty's work on Instagram because I follow a few of the bio pages and one of my favorite artists, his name is Guy, and he's kind of the godfather of bio. Ty's work has popped up from just following different bio social medias and uh, I decided to shoot him a message and see about getting some work done because uh, I knew I always wanted a really large piece. Uh, my back was totally open at the time, and so I decided to hit him up and see if we could get something done. Uh, as far as like prepping to get such a large tattoo, um, it was kind of a weird, definitely a weird experience because I've been in and out of tattoo shops. I'm, you know, before I met Ty, I was pretty heavily tattooed anyways. Uh, I've worked in various tattoo shops. Uh, I was a body piercer for quite a while. I've been a tattoo apprentice, so I'm not any stranger to kind of how that works, but I just messaged him uh, on Instagram and asked him if he was, uh, if he'd be down for a large piece like that. Uh, he wasn't one of the first people I messaged, but uh, he was probably one of the more professional ones who got back to me right away. Uh, he asked, you know, kind of what I was into. I sent him a few tattoos that he'd done on other people, just kind of like, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, out of the, you know, the recent tattoos you've done, these are my favorites. If you could do kind of all these styles and wrap them up into a piece for me, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, we agreed. And then we set a date and I was like, this is my first like really massive piece. So I kind of want to know how it worked. Um, he was really easy to talk to and work with. We set up our time. I came down here. Um, he kind of drew up a little sketch of kind of what he was doing. And I just showed up and had faith. And we, he went from, you know, a small piece of paper drawing to probably about an hour or two of sharpening on the back. And then we just went for it. And that first session was 10 hours of line drawings and just you know, letting him do his thing, knowing that based on what I'd seen, I was going to get what I wanted. I think the best part about getting such a large tattoo like this is that for someone like me, I want to be fully covered. I want to have a bodysuit. So the best part was kind of just getting this massive tattoo done. Um, and just the scale of it is, it, I mean, it's enormous. It's from the top of my neck to the back of my knees. And it's, uh, I mean, it's a lot of work and it was pretty cool to see how fast it all came together. Um, just the color scheme that he, that he went through, just how he, easily he was able to just whip this up in his mind and then put it from, from a sketch to a fully done tattoo in not a lot of time. Uh, I think the worst part about getting a tattoo like this is just the sheer amount of sitting that you have to do. And plus it was my back the back of my legs, my ass, and the back of my neck. So there's a lot of like, I have, you know, I work construction, I have pretty chronic back pain. And so the pain of the tattoo wasn't even that bad. The worst part was just laying on my stomach. Um, basically, you know, with nothing on <laughs> for, you know, the entire time that it took. Most of the sessions were, you know, every session was over six hours at the, that was a minimum. And so just laying there on my stomach on a table for that long, that was probably the worst part just because of the, the back pain. This tattoo took 50 hours, which is pretty incredible that we got all this amount of work done in only 50 hours. Like Ty is a very fast tattooer. We actually joke about that, how he needs to slow down because it's like <laughs> costing himself money about <laughs> this sheer amount of speed that he can do these huge tattoos in. Um, but I made five separate trips down to get this tattoo from Vegas, which isn't bad. Vegas to Phoenix is about a five hour drive. Um, and I like driving, like I like, I like cars. So, you know, a five hour drive to me is nothing. You know, it's a nice little road trip, grab some snacks, get here. Um, and then I think our first session was 10 hours. That was to do all the line work. And then he wants to do, when he tattoos, he likes to do three solid sessions on each piece. Uh, he likes to do the groundwork and then like kind of the shading and then button it up for the last part. So the second session was nine hours and then an eight hour session. And then that was 
you could kind of see the tattoo come together at that point. And then the final two sessions to get all the, the really cool details and make it you know look like it's glowing and all that stuff was we had a really short session. Yeah, I mean short for the rest of the tattoo was seven. And then the final session, he hit everything again, and it was 13, 13 hours. And that is the longest I think I've ever been tattooed in one sitting, and it was it was not fun. <laughs> that, in fact, that might actually be the worst part of the whole tattoo was that last session. As far as like uh, having such a large tattoo done, I mean, I don't really, I'm not one of those people that puts a lot of meaning behind their tattoos. Like I get stuff just because it either looks really cool or it's funny to me. Like I have a tattoo of Grumpy Cat on my hand just because I thought it's hilarious. Um, but as far as like something like this, it does, it's not like meaningful, like, oh, there's like deep roots, but it's, it means a lot that I was able to find an artist that could give me such an awesome piece of art that I can wear around and, you know, do it in such a seamless, you know, manner. And it took, you know, it didn't take, you know, much time at all. The whole process probably was a two year span, but that's just between, you know, healing and being able to make these trips because it does cost quite a bit to have such a large tattoo. And then they had expenses of hotels or Airbnbs, gas and all that stuff to get here. but. It was all pretty pretty easy to do, and he's a really easy person to work with to make that happen. Um, the only thing that kind of uh, I regret is not getting something like this done sooner, because uh, it's probably my favorite piece that I have, and it's on my back, so I don't really get to enjoy it as much as anyone else that sees me. Man, when other people see this tattoo, like when I first posted it on my social, uh, some of my old old tattoo artist friends and even my old uh, uh, tattoo uh, boss at the first shop I worked at were like, they were like pretty mind blown just to see the the outline done and, and most of my friends and all, cause I mean, they know all the tattoos and I was talking about, yeah, I'm going to Phoenix, getting this big tattoo. And you don't really understand the scope of it until you see it. And, and uh, most people's reactions have been pretty, pretty crazy like they're usually pretty in disbelief and then when they realize it goes all over it's not just my back it's you know the fact that it's my ass and the back of my knees you know all the way down they get they get pretty they're pretty open wide mouth agape um, which is a, you know a good reaction most people can't believe the the work you know because it's not like stuff that they see a lot um, and then also you know bio isn't really super well known you know for people that aren't really like tattoo collectors or stuff like that so they see it and they a lot of people ask, well, what is it? What is it? Like, it looks, you know, it looks like this. I'm like, it, if it, whatever it looks like to you, that's what it is. Like, it's just, it's kind of abstract. So whatever you see, that's the, the beauty of it. A lot of people see different things when they see it.